The Championship is back. And Norwich are back for their first home game. And guess who else is back? Your favourite Norwich vlogger. What a load of crappy crap crap. Today, Norwich face off against Blackburn. In recent times, Blackburn have been a bit of a bogey side for Norwich because Norwich actually haven't beaten them at home in five years. But today, Rovers are coming in in pretty good form, beating Derby 4-2 on opening day and just beating Stockport 6-1 in the EFL Cup. Norwich were a bit of the opposite. Their results have been a bit mixed. Opening day, losing 2-0 to newly promoted Oxford and then beating Stevenage 4-3 in the EFL Cup even that scraping past. Check out the Stevenage video though, after you watch this one of course. I'm trying to make it to the Football Content Awards this year for the Young Content Creator category. Voting is all in the description, it's really easy and all the links that you need are below in the description. So get voting if you enjoy this video. I'm on the road to 5,000 subscribers and we're trying to get there as soon as possible. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. But as the team, formed in 1875, make the trip down to Carrow Road, how will they fare? Hopefully, Norwich can get the points. Let's get to Carrow Road. So here we are with Josh outside Carrow Road. What's your score prediction for Blackburn today? 3-2, uh, I think it's a pretty good game. For a win for Norwich. Yeah, a win for Norwich, yeah. And obviously, you're saying this is your first game yeah. for this season, obviously, yeah. in Norwich. So, yeah. you're hoping to enjoy your time? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. think it'll be good. I think it'll be a, a good Sheffield atmosphere Wednesday. as well? Yeah, it will, yeah. I went to a Sheffield Wednesday away last season. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it'll be good. This, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, so we'll see you in there. Yeah. Come on. Oh, we're back. Down the steps we go. Away fans to our right. Barkley, Snake. Here we are. While Norwich may not have the advantage going into this game, they do have a slight advantage considering the fact that Sammy Shmodix has just gone to that lot down the road and Blackburn are without a striker. At least they do have a striker, but it's not Sammy Shmodix who was the top goal scorer last year. So that's good news for Norwich. Big Andy gone for the pasty today. Blackburn fans to my right, I reckon they'll bring a fair few today considering they're a pretty well supported club. A look at this, about four rows off the pitch, not bad seats, eh? Danny Bath is playing, he had a period at Norwich last year. So here we are at Car Road with Big Andy. What time is it, mate? Big Andy fact time. Of course. And in 52 League and Cup meetings, Norwich currently have 16 wins against Blackburn. Blackburn actually have the most with 22, and there have been 14 draws. So definitely Blackburn hold the edge here. And in the last three league meetings at Carra Road, they've all been won by Blackburn. So you could say they're a bit of a bogey side to Norwich. And a bit about today's opponents, Blackburn Rovers. Now they were formed in 1890. They play at a ground called Ewood Park. And in 1994-95, they actually won the Premier League with that deadly combination up front, Shearer and Sutton, known as SAS. Last time they were in the Premier League was in 2012. They've subsequently dropped since from Championship actually down to League One, but came back to the Championship from League One in 2018. So it could be really interesting to see this season how the team does under John Eustace. Don't want any bigger pair of shorts. The drum has been moved to behind the goal for today. Here come our team, North City and Black. Come on the ball. Teams come out, come on. First home game, hoping off to get to a good start after that Oxford result. If you haven't already, make sure to vote for me down below for the content of football content awards because it closes on Monday. Yes, some new players today, but hopefully they got off to a better start than last week. <laughs>
slow start for both sides, nothing really much happening, about 8 minutes in, but when the first goal happens it will really break the deadlock. <laughs> Back to back, probably the best chance of the game there. Norwich hitting the crossbar after coming up to about the 15th minute mark, but that was back to back and unlucky not to score. New left back, Ben Christine, looks so lovely. a bit against the runner play but Blackburn have scored and once again it's too easy the ball's gone over the top he's let him ran through and he's just lofted over the keeper I mean it was far too easy and there was massive problems in that defence for Norwich they need to sort it out a very silly place to give away a free kick there They're tearing through us like butter and a knife. I've seen it all now. Borger Sainz has fell over trying to cross the ball. I mean, honestly, that is just ridiculous. Borger Sainz has been passed the ball from the keeper. He's literally one on one, or it's a 2v1 because there's another player there for him, and we've still somehow missed it. The Blackburn keeper's got an injured arm or something like that. We really should capitalise on it. Five minutes added on here. But let's just go through some of the positives of this half because all I can think of is that the sun is out and Big Andy got his Cornish pasty. <laughs> oh dear, I think we're in for one here. <laughs> Blackbone players seriously unhappy with that. Half time here, and it is currently 1 0 to the visitors as we are at Car Road. And honestly, Norwich have been absolutely. <laughs> we have been dreadful. I don't know what we are trying, but it's just not working. I mean, we're trying, but it's not really doing a lot, is it? So hopefully, the second half's spare. Hopefully, we can score a goal. But apart from that, I don't really know what to wish for because we are pretty awful. But we've got to stay positive, everyone. So come on, the boys in yellow. I think that may be the closest Norwich we've got this game. This game's either going to end two ways. 2-0 to Blackburn or 1-0 to Blackburn. Because nothing is happening at either end. Well, I take that back. We've only gone and scored. Josh Sargent slots it in. Lovely jubbly. Norwich, got to get some belief and get back in this game now. I mean, come on, boys. Let's at least get a win. Wouldn't that just be brilliant at the first home game back? Well, how quickly a game can change is mental. It's 2-1 to Norwich now. And where has this come from? Sergeant, that is where it's come from. He's ran from there. Absolutely play a perfect ball to Borja Saints to finish it off. I mean, where has this actually come from? The second half. But here we go. We're back. Come on, let's hold on to this now. Coming into the last five minutes now. Can Norwich hold on to this lead? <laughs> I 
Well, there's your answer. Norwich cannot hold on to the lead. And in classic Norwich style, Blackburn equalised 87th minute. So basically at the depth. Is anyone going to score now? Hopefully Norwich do. But ball was whipped in and the diving headers just came in. And it's really disappointing that we've thrown it away right at the depth. <laughs> time here and it has ended 2-2 as you can see behind me Blackburn players and Norwich players I mean for Norwich ain't a bad so we didn't play that well but it's a shame that we threw away right at the death so it's unlucky on that part vote for the Football Content Awards closes Monday and as always make sure to subscribe we'll see you in the next one like subscribe bosh